Welcome to Power BI Helpline YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to show you how to work with Rank X function inside Matrix Visuals. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications on our latest videos. With that, let's check it out. Earlier in our video, we solved this particular problem, which was to show top 5 and other customers inside a matrix visual. We have this matrix and in row header we have country and customers. We wanted to rank countries on countries level and customers inside each country. We will again make use of rank x function with some tricks to solve this problem. Here is our data model, where sales table and customer name tables are connected with customer names column. And this is our total sales measure, which is just the sum of the sales column. Let's now create the required matrix visual and keep customer's name and countries in row header and total sales in values area. We will format this visual a little bit so that it will be clearly visible and easy to understand. Let's now create the measure, which will calculate the rank of the customers inside countries, based on their total sales. This expression is not able to calculate ranks on countries level, but it is calculating correctly on customers level. For each country, it is showing same rank, which is 1, also it is showing rank for the grand total 2. Let's wrap the all selected function to the entire customer names table and see if it is working as expected. As you can see, now, it is calculating the rank of the customers based on entire table, rather than inside countries. We will have to make this expression to show ranks of countries if matrix is not expanded, and then show the ranks of the customers inside countries if it is expanded. We will now create two variables, each for customers level ranking and for countries level ranking, and then we'll use is in scope function to solve this issue. Is in scope function is basically used to show the results only when the column defined within this function is present in the row context of current evaluation.
Now you can see that our expression is working as expected. And we are now able to see the ranks for countries and for customers inside countries, but still we have the rank showing to grand total, we will fix it now. Here again we will use an in-scope function to show ranks only if country is in scope otherwise blank. We now have proper ranking of customers and countries based on sales. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more such interesting topics in Power BI.